back in the shop with the hero of the day. RMS Titanic at it again. What'd you do while I was gone? I put the head back in. Thread in freeze plugs, lap the valves in, put in the new upgraded valves from KDD, new springs, retainers, everything. Mm -hmm. So the head's ready to go back on, almost. Yeah. Just getting the rust off the truck. Yeah. Once Nathan's out of the way. What are you doing, Trevor? Don't use any words. Don't use any words that I gotta bleep out. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Rats nest delete. <laughs> The thing has got a phone in here. Yeah, Mr. Steve girl. Oh. <laughs> You're a lubrication expert, Trevor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep this PG 13. Yeah. Well, you've been having some private time with the tin man there. I have. <laughs> Hitting the button. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so um, not really a whole lot of action in this video. I know it uh, more or less just kind of an update as to where we stand on a few of the projects. Of course, we made some progress here on Trevor's truck. Uh, the new Kill Devil Diesel head is on. 
Um, we put new dial pins in before we installed it, new head gasket. Um, he's got new valve seals, upgraded Manton valve train. We put in ARP 625s and the head is on and it's pretty much torqued down. We have one more torque sequence to go. We've got to step it up to the 150 pound step, but we didn't have the big torque wrench here. So we just left it at the 100 pound setting for now. Um, the injectors are in and feed tubes and injectors are torqued down. So that's good to go. As you saw, their SNS 250% overs. CP3 is installed. We had to fight. There was a broken bolt in one of them. So we had to fight with that. Um, but the pump is in. That's an SNS 12 mil pump for now. Um, so, anyways, fuel system, we've, we've got to hook the lines up, but it's ready to go. And hopefully, next time we're together, we'll be firing this thing up. So it's getting really, really close. Also, while it was down, we went ahead and he decided to pull the AC out. So we went ahead and pulled all of that stuff out while it was torn apart. Um, we also pulled all the stuff off the firewall and repainted the firewall black. Just We just hit it real quick with the uh, rattle can. It, I mean, it doesn't look bad really. Just wanted to knock down, get rid of the blue and uh, get the engine bay painted black so everything kind of blends. And when we were pulling the AC stuff, we did go ahead and pull the AC from behind the dash. So we got all that knocked out. The dash is back in and buttoned up. Everything's good on the interior other than the uh, I guess you call it the knee panel or whatever, right under the steering wheel. We got to put that back up, but it's just a couple clips, nothing major. And other than that, the only real update we've got is we did go by Tim's the other day and uh, we picked up a little goodie over here. I'll show you guys. Just a little sneak peek of it there. But anyways, that is the race motor for the regular cab. It is a sleeve down 6.7. Uh, we'll go over all the specs for it in the, uh, probably in the next video, maybe video after. Um, Gonna clean it up a little bit and get everything ready and we'll kind of go over all that we've got some goodies coming from king speed so we're gonna be getting all that installed on it here in the next probably couple weeks but in the meantime here goes a little teaser for you say uh d and j fsr pistons are in that motor and as i said it is a sleeve motor so if anything ever happens we'll uh we got a spare piston and sleeve and ring assembly we have everything we need so if we do damage a piston at some point we can just redo that one cylinder and get it back up and going. But as I said, we'll go over all the details on the motor in another video coming up when we start installing all the goodies from King Speed. But uh, for now, that's pretty much it. We're gonna wrap the video up here. Um, the truck is kind of at a point on uh, Trevor's. It's gonna have to wait till next week to get wrapped up, um, but it shouldn't take us very long at all to get it buttoned up and get it fired up and see how she runs. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and thanks for the support. And we'll touch base with you guys in the next video. Thank y'all.